So with the QQ continuing to advance southward uh, towards the Arabian Peninsula, uh, I I'm pressed for time here. I I've got to start taking over my more countries um, in that region if, if I want to gain that sort of land. Because the QQ is continuing to expand. I mean, they're kind of snowballing right now, now that the, uh, the Timurids have blown up. So we have got to take Oman, we've got to take Naj, and, and we've got to control the Arabian Peninsula by the end of the next few videos. So we're actually going to war with Oman right now. I know that I probably should wait for these lands to get cored because I know that we're going to see some sort of uh, possible rebellion here. There's a 24%, oh my gosh, a 24% chance of an uprising, uh, or it, it increasing at least uh, per month. Jesus. Okay, well, hmm. Well, first of, all, first of all, I would like to get a couple things off. Uh, um, someone suggested that I should, I should definitely try to ally with Poland. That's a fantastic idea. They, they, we do have positive relations with Poland. Unfortunately, though, Poland has a lot of great allies. And, and right now, oh, wow, just turned to negative 10. 15, I'm sorry, negative 15. Well, that's strange. Oh, because of obviously the different religion. It's competing great powers. Okay, so I, I can, you know, I will just kind of, for the sake of it, I will improve relations with Poland. We will see what happens. But unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen, but I don't know. It might be close. Um, if I improve relations with them right now, we might see something good happen. I don't know. We might need to, uh, I'm not sure, you guys have, I mean, they've rivaled the Ottomans, which is one of the reasons why it'd be a good idea to ally with Poland, especially because Poland does have access, uh, or they lead a personal union with the Lithuanian, the Lithuania? The Lithuanians, um, and that means that they could possibly get really, really big and blob out to form a super, co uh, commonwealth blob. <clears throat> but we will go ahead and prove relations with the Poland and see if we can do this. That would be a very, very good idea, especially because we do have that diplomatic slot open. And you know, why keep it open if we don't, if we don't, uh, if we don't have to? We might as well fill it out if we can. And we do still have our two vassals and the alliance with Tunis still up. Okay, so <clears throat> we are not going to be doing any idea groups for now because yes, of course, you know, I knew that when I chose my military idea group, I figured that you know. It, Automatically, you're going to kind of be behind in military technology because you're going to want to be going for their, those military ideas. But I really feel like the idea group has already made up for it. I mean, by just getting this this 50% national manpower modifier, amazing. I've got 58 manpower right now. 58,000, sorry, not 58 men. <laughs> 58,000 manpower. That is incredible. So, uh, yeah, I think automatically this idea group has made up for the kind of behind in military technology a little bit here. So, if I go to war with Oman, first of all, Oman has four provinces. They have these two provinces here. Uh, they have their capital, as well as Bahrain. So, we're going to want to make sure that we get up some boats, because I'm sure Oman is going to have at least one boat here to kind of protect this strait. And uh, we're going to want to definitely not let that happen, or else we're going to be in this war for an unnecessary amount of time. So, I believe we do have a little bit extra, a little bit, few more boats that we can build, according to our... Yeah, our naval force limit's 34. We only have 32 up right now. I'm going to go a little bit above that. We'll build a few... Well, I, I probably should build a few heavy ships since we are in the Indian Ocean. We're going to be in the Indian Ocean re region. We will, will no longer be in a Mediterranean, uh, in an inland sea. I don't know exactly what would be best here. And the only thing is I don't really want to build heavy ships because heavy ships are fucking expensive. 0.48 ducats per month that's a little bit too much we're, I mean we're doing pretty good in terms of economy but uh, that's a little bit too much I think what I'll do is maybe get like a few few galleys going on here uh, maybe maybe if maybe a few light ships we I, I doubt Oman really has a big navy at all I, I'd be surprised if they have over over two ships so we'll definitely get maybe one galley I'm gonna do it up in these uh, provinces here since these provinces are gonna take forever 311 days holy crap uh, let's do one, two, three, and maybe like two light ships. Uh, one, two. Okay, we'll have like a yeah, we'll have like a force of like five ships, and that'll by far be more than enough, I'm sure. Than <coughs> whatever Oman has, I guess I could probably check the ledger. Maybe we should do that just for safety. Um. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Where you at? Oh. Where you at, Oman? There you are. Bam. Yeah. You got two ships. So. You'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll take you down in there. One of them is a transport, so won't be too difficult at all. Uh, yes, we have provincial unrest. I, mean, I know that we can build some buildings, but we're going to keep that surplus alive. Um, now, first of all, now that we well, we are improving a relation. Also, thank you so much for the people that are, that are, are commenting, uh, suggesting hotkeys. That's something that I've just been really lazy about and I haven't picked up, but I love the fact that I could just right-click and cancel. 
Oh, that's amazing. I know that right now I have a... Uh, who am I improving with exactly? Um, with Yemen. Okay. We don't really... Uh, we can't annex Yemen until, I think, 1488. So there's no point in uh, really kind of improving relations just yet. I believe we could probably annex these guys here. Yeah, we can. But I don't think I am until we kind of uh, get control of the rest of Alodia. At least, at least that. I mean, how many provinces does... Yeah, these guys only have six provinces. I'll vassal feed them a little bit, and I'll take a few more of their provinces here, and then and then we'll annex them completely. Don't want to wait to my vassal. I don't want my vassal to get too big, because then it takes too much diplomatic power, and it kind of gets annoying. It gets takes too much time and stuff like that. Okay, so let's put you here, because we are coring. We're not coring anything here. I don't, I don't know. We just have a galley being built. Yeah, so let's, let's throw all my regiments on top of the cores. That should kind of uh, remove some of the unrest, but not too much, really. It really doesn't do much. It's still at 24.8%. Well, we haven't put everyone on top of there. But uh, everything else we're doing good, right? Yeah, point... Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got some uh, Hejazi nationalists. But that's okay. That's not bad. Okay, what we need to do, though, I guess I'll wait for this guy to come back in 15 days. We need to start improving relations with Naj here. Obviously, we're going to need to find a way to get over towards these two... Uh, Oman provinces and the only way well we could build transports yes and actually that would be pretty easy but who knows Oman might have big regiments here and I don't want to receive you know we're gonna get receive that crossing penalty automatically I'd rather just try to get the uh, the military access through Naj rather than build a bunch of cogs and have to deal with all that shit I mean that's totally not cool so we're gonna improve relations for now and hopefully we don't improve relations too much here uh, we like Naj uh, our own people like Naj. They don't really like us. It won't take long. They'll they'll definitely accept this eventually. Just give us some time, and uh, we're gonna schmooze those motherfuckers over. Royal marriage with Yemen. I guess we could do that to kind of improve some relations. Okay. And uh, yes, I'm gonna be more careful with my royal marriages. Um, obviously, I made a mistake by royal marrying. Who is that? Uh, geez, I forgot their name. Fazan, Fazan over here uh, when I was like a month away from annexing them. My apologies. That is a very, very good point. I never even thought about that. I'm always just like, royal marriage? Hell yeah. If we're, if we're cool, I'll, I'll accept your royal marriage whenever. Forgot that there's a, kind of a negative to royal marriages where you automatically receive a negative five legitimacy hit. Um, oh, and you guys are, of course, you're crossing right over through these lands instead of going around. Fantastic way of traveling. Fantastic. Okay, so I think we're going to see our king die soon here. He's 40 years old, uh, and we have, we'll have we have a good administration heir. But uh, yeah, in terms of uh, dip diplomatic technology and military technology, oh, we're going to be hurting. And I might need to focus on, on some military points here. Okay, so I'm going to want to free up one of those diplomats at some point. I need to, I guess, I don't know. I know that I'm improving relations with Poland for, for a bit here. I guess I'll get you to positive. You are at war with uh, the HRE, Bohemia, um, Saxony, Salzburg, bunch of bunch of HRE members. I believe kind of the Eastern HRE members. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, we have an administrator that just died. Morale of armies, land force limit modifier. That's what I like. National manpower. We don't need any more manpower. That's for sure. Let's go for the uh, definitely the army organizer. Land force limit modifier. That should kind of increase our force limit because right now we were at 40 or no 37. Now we're at 41. Very good. So we can build one more. I like that. I definitely like that. Now we don't have access to cannons yet, but we will soon. We're going to want to keep that in mind because cannons are going to be very, very important when sieging out provinces. Okay, we are in positive relations with Poland, but again, I I just I don't see it happening. I mean, we can see... Oh, oh, we just boosted up to 30. Wait a second. See, number of great allies. I, it's weird because they're only really allied to Mecklenburg and... Uh, <laughs> Mecklenburg. I always think of Mecklenburg whenever I think of these guys. Mecklenburg is totally the king of Mecklenburg. Uh, okay, so in Austria, I think that's the biggest thing. There's that negative 50 uh, great relations penalty. Ah, that's what would kill us. Also, you know, obviously right now the the same religion and and the neutral attitude towards the Mamluks. Um, I mean, we can improve relations to get rid of that, but for the most part, I mean, what I've noticed whenever I do play as the Mamluks or any sort of nation here in Africa or kind of the Middle East, most people, like most of the European nations, because I know that I would definitely understand that maybe allying myself with another strong power for their uh, for their galleys also, like Aragon or Castile, would be good for navies to kind of take on the Ottomans. Obviously, that would be great, and I've been thinking about that a lot, but at the moment... You know, European powers do not like to ally themselves with um, 
lower people like myself uh, in in like less than fi- the 1550s. It, it becomes a lot easier when a lot of these guys kind of blob out and, and there's less uh, there's less possibilities for allies and, there le- and there's, there's a bunch of rivals. It's way more likely. Right now there's just too many nations and we need a lot of people to get eaten up. So probably I would say maybe in like 50 to 75 years we're going to see more easier allies in, in Western Europe and I, I guess just Europe in general. But for right now it's going to be very difficult. So I'm going to remove this guy from Poland. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I, I can continue to improve relations but... That, that great power alliance with is going to just destroy us, and uh, yeah, it, it's not going to happen for now, and, and we'll kind of continue to go back to it, but yeah, we can't, we can't waste any more time. We need to go to war with Oman right now, and I need, I need this diplomat continuing to improve relations with Naj so I can get military, uh, a military access granted to me. Okay, so... Uh, oh, I could vassalize them. I didn't even realize that. I could totally improve relations. Well, I'm at negative 92 relations. There's no point to that. I didn't even think about that. Like, we could just automatically vassalize diplomatically, Oman. But nah, nah, nah. We're going to do it the, the tough way. We're going to be mad about it. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Really quick. Yeah, you know what? Before I even jump into this war, I should probably improve relations. Or I, I should probably increase the uh, autonomy in a few of these provinces. I mean, that's huge right na- right there. All above 12.8%. Yeah. Well, these provinces weren't providing us much before, but now they're really not going to be providing us anything. Let's improve everything here. Let's increase the autonomy, and yeah, it's going to hurt, but and now it's at down to 10%. I mean, that was that would definitely be, we're, we're asking for a rebel uprising there at 24% uh, chance of increasing every month. So we kind of had to do that, and that's fine. I don't really mind. I mean, we're not really, I'm not trying to gain these lands just to look, uh, just for the, I don't know, for anything else. I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to get some land. Trying to gain some power, and I know I know increasing autonomy removes some of that power from gaining those provinces. But you know it's fine. Well, it's fine. We have to do it. Okay, so let's get to, let's declare war. And for, unfortunately, of course, Tunis is not willing to join in because Tunis is little bitches. Uh, we are going to increase our piety by going to war with Oman uh, because they are a. I'm not sure what religion Oman follows. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's declare war. Very good. So what do we got? See, and that's why I want to do it so fast is because Oman has no allies. That means we could probably get a, get in and out of this war pretty quickly. When are my boats done? My boats look like they're about to be finished pretty soon. So by the time we siege out these two provinces, uh, they should be good to go. Okay, real quick, let me let me get my let me shift my general over to this side. No leader here. And I know that we don't really need a general when fighting a one stack. But still, I mean, I'm just trying to kind of keep my manpower and my regiments as high as it can go. I would like to lose the least amount of troops as I can at all times. Because, again, I've always got that threat from both now the Ottomans and the QQ. So this stuff needs to be kept in mind. Um, it's very, very important that we are kind of always always aware of that sort of stuff. Those sort of, Those sorts of things. Nice, nice. There are the boats. The boats have arrived, and boom, we will have them all settle here in the uh, the Red Sea. Very good. And let's come on, baby, get over there. Okay. So while these guys are sieging out, I'm gonna go take control over. Uh, I gotta I gotta be careful because I'm gonna maybe I need to ask from Naj also. Uh, what's that called? Fleet basing rights. With Naj because I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be suffering from a little bit of attrition over here. More than likely. Gang piety. Lose some gold. I think I'm, yeah, I'm already at 100% piety. Well, losing piety. Well, I guess I'll lose some gold. That's fine. That's why I keep the surplus there. Because, I mean, there's always these freaking missions, these tasks that always come up and just say, Hey, yeah, you should probably lose some gold right now. Why? Just because fuck you. Game says fuck you, Drew. And I don't, you know, I get it. I, that's uh, that's said a lot to me in my life. Uh, and it's... It's something understandable that even in my game that they have to say, fuck me, right? Fuck me. Okay, we're still not suffering from attrition good. That's that's pretty nice here. There is a seven stack here. See, that would be very difficult. So no matter how many cogs we had, we would get pretty big crossing penalty. Um, if we had a bunch of cogs and we had to try to do a, uh, a naval force landing here. Hmm. I don't see any boats here. Let's, let's check in the uh, Persian Gulf here. And now we are suffering from a little bit of attrition. Yeah, there is one boat, so I don't know. I thought they had. I thought they started off with two, but anyways, let me let me send this guy back. I don't want him to suffer from too much attrition. Obviously, if he sits there and he dies, I'm gonna be crying 
my eyes out. So we are blockading by 40%. Not a big deal. I might even just delete these. Um, actually, these boats might be kind of, they might kind of come in handy for later wars, especially when actually, yeah, we should probably keep them because if we, uh, the, the plan is to, is to attack Naj here, take as much as we can from Naj, hopefully, because uh, these guys are a vassal of, yeah, the QQ, we want to take a bunch of these provinces to landlock the QQ here. Uh, that's kind of mandatory. We have to do that in the first war with Naj so that they don't be, actually, or no, there's no way we'd be able to vassalize these guys. They're, they're way too big, but eventually we want to go all the way to here, uh, take this province and we'll just, yeah, we'll kind of have a boat settled. Bam, right there. And it started attacking the QQ. I'm sorry, the Timurids. I'm sorry. Cause the Timurids, I mean, right now are blowing up. They are not going to last much longer. I'm, I'm sure that the Persians at some point here are going to, to spawn out of the, the last remnants of, of poor old Timmy. It's only a matter of time. Okay, and those cores are almost about to be done. I'm, I'm sad that we had to increase autonomy there, but really, I, I really didn't have any other choice. Okay, so there's a nine stack there. I should probably be kind of careful, somewhat careful there. Oh, I haven't, I haven't actually asked for military access yet. Stop improving relations, and hey, buddy, you want to do this for us? Thank you. You will. All right, cool. So let's let's just have this eight stack kind of kind of watching. Oh, we've ganged some unrest. Oh man, how much unrest is that? Oh shit, more unrest. Fuck. No, man, that's not cool. Okay, well let's hopefully get the cores. I know the cores might slightly decrease this. I know that if I boost my stability up, uh, we're gonna see a lot less national unrest, but. I don't know, how, how far behind am I in, in, oh, I'm not that far behind. Okay, let's go ahead and boost it. Having plus one is not bad, and now, yeah, that, that's an entire one uh, positive stability, or like a, a, a negative one with positive stability. Okay, that did a kind of a lot, but I think for now, I think maybe we'll just use harsh treatment to, to get rid of the rest. Okay, that eight stack is on its way. Now, hopefully, actually, maybe I should keep him there just in case I don't want to get attacked by this nine stack when I'm not ready. That would be bad, obviously. And the cores are about to be finished up here. Wow, where, where the hell did all this gold come from? Out of this war, that's strange. Okay, so boom, let's make sure that we kill the nine stack and then we'll send uh, my own nine stack over to Bahrain and siege out that last province from Oman. Hopefully get out of this war as soon as possible because once again, we gotta be careful. Uh, I, I don't think the QQ will be able to attack Naj just yet. Actually, wait a second, they do share the Persian Gulf. I believe, actually, you know what? The QQ might actually have access to claiming some of uh, the Naj lands here. Yeah, they do. They do have a claim. Oh, okay. See, that's very, very bad. That's why we're trying to get control of the Arabian Peninsula as fast as possible because I want access through the. I want access to the Middle East, like to Western India or the Western Indian subcontinent. That would be ideal here. Okay, let's let's send them in. Let's send them in. And uh, we are blockading. We'll have reinforcements come in like 30 days. Yeah, it's fine. Oman has got nothing on us. All right, cool. So who, who wants to go go to Bahrain? Let's see. Who wants to go to Bahrain? Let's send uh, this bigger stack there just in case because we are going to get a negative two crossing penalty. Okay, and then we'll have to send our boats over there too. We're going to be suffering from a little bit of attrition. That's fine. We really can't do anything about it. How much attrition is it? How many? Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna have to kind of clean these boats up a little bit after this, but that's that's okay. All right, get up in there. All right, very good. All right, let's take you back to the uh, Straits of Hormuz. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna have to stop it right there. We did finally start to gang some cores. We have about 11% left in those other lands, about 10% now. So we're about to core these guys. Uh, hopefully we don't see any sort of uprising. We're still at 50%, but it's at 15.1% incre uh, increasing chance every single month. I wanna keep that in mind. Oh, France declared war on Castile, uh-oh. That'll be interesting. Also, looks like Austria is at war with Hungary. Uh-oh, we might actually see the Ottomans join in on that if Austria, I, I imagine that Austria is going to severely, or, or Hungary is actually going to severely lose this war against Austria. That's usually how it goes. We might see the Ottomans kind of join in and, and, and pick off some some edges here of Hungary if, if they start getting fully sieged out, but we'll have to wait and see. 
Let's just finish this war with Oman and try to take as much as we can and immediately go to war with Naj. Uh, good thing we didn't improve relations with them too much, or else we wouldn't have been able to go to war with them. I, I think I experienced that in uh, a previous series. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.